right so this is problem number 2 on uh, coplanar non concurrent system of forces so the question is to find uh, magnitude direction and position of the resultant force with reference to the point a that is the question so initially we have to write uh, components for uh, all the inclined forces that are given in the problem so here we have uh, under root 2 newton which is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the x axis so for that horizontal component is Hundred root two cos forty five and vertical component hundred root two sine forty five. Okay, this is the first step. Whenever an inclined force is given in the problem, first we have to write the components. Okay. Now we will find uh, sigma f x. Sigma f x means sum of forces which are acting in x direction. Okay, so here we have 100 newton force acting in left direction. Sine is minus 100, and here uh, 100 newton force which is applied at C and it is acting in right direction plus 100. Then we have 100 root 2 cos 45 acting in right direction plus 100 root 2 cos 45 okay so for this uh, answer is 100 newton 100 newton okay then sigma fy is equal to sum of forces in y direction is equal to so we have 200 newton force acting along the y axis and it is acting in upper direction sin is plus plus 200 then uh, we have uh, one more vertical force which is acting in downward direction here at point D minus 100 root 2 sin 45 so for this also the answer is 100 Newton answer is 100 Newton now you can calculate the resultant force you know the formula R is equal to root of Sigma fx square plus sigma fy square which is equal to root of 100 square plus 100 square which gives uh, 141.42 newton 141.42 newton so this is magnitude of the resultant force coming to the direction we know the formula Direction means angle of the resultant force. Okay, theta is equal to tan inverse of sigma fy by sigma fx is equal to tan inverse of 100 by 100. Answer is 45 degree. Okay, now we have determined magnitude direction now we have to find position of the resultant force with reference to the point a okay if you want to find position of the resultant force with respect to the point a first you find sum of moments of all the forces about point a okay now we will go on finding moments of each and every forces one by one so first you take moment of 100 newton force 100 into perpendicular distance is 0 because 100 newton force is passing through the point A. Point A lies in the line of action of the force. There is no perpendicular distance of the point from the line of action. So distance is 0. Then you take this 200 newton force. 200 newton force into what will be the perpendicular distance? You just imagine the line of action. See 200 newton force is for this is the line of action for the 200 newton force. Okay, so the force is vertical. The distance should be horizontal. So this is the line of action. So here we have the point A. So distance of point A from the 
line of action is how much? It is given as 2 meter. Okay. So, 100 into 2 meter. Perpendicular distance of point A from the line of action of 200 Newton force. That is 2 meter. Okay. If the force is vertical, distance will be horizontal. For 200 Newton vertical force, horizontal distance of point A is 2 meter into 2 meter into 2 meter coming to the sign about point A. Assume that the plane is free to rotate about point A. Means it is like a hinge point. So if you apply a upward force of 200 Newton at the top edge of the block, the block will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. So the sign is minus. Now you take this 100 Newton force, 100 into what will be the perpendicular distance? Say 100 Newton force, it is a horizontal force, distance should be vertical. So this is the line of action of 100 Newton force. We have the point A here. So distance of point A from the line of action, from the line of action is 4 meter into 4 meter into 4 meter and about point A if we apply a right force, rightward force of 100 Newton at corner C, the block will rotate in clockwise direction. So sine is plus, sine is plus. Now you take this 100 root 2 cos 45 force, 100 root 2 cos 45 force into what will be the perpendicular distance of point A? So you see this is the line of action. <coughs> For 100 root to cos 45, so this is the line of action. It is horizontal line of action. Therefore, the point lies in the line of action. There is no distance of point A from the line of action. It is 0. Distance is 0. Put plus or minus, it will be 0 only. Then you take 100 root to sin 45 force. 100 root to sin 45 into perpendicular distance it will be 4 meters. So see this, this is the line of action. So this is the line of action. Distance of point A from the line of action of 100 root to 45 is 4 meter into 4 meter and about point A if you apply a downward force of 100 root to 45 at corner D the block will rotate in clockwise direction. So sine is plus. Okay, so by this you will get uh, the value of uh, sigma ma that is uh, 400 Newton meter, 400 Newton meter. Okay, now we can predict the location of the resultant force with respect to the point A. So we know the formula that is x intercept is equal to sigma m naught by sigma fi 400 divided by 100 it is 4 meter then y intercept is equal to sigma m naught divided by sigma fx sigma m naught is 400 sigma fx is 100 this is also 4 meter and D is equal to sigma m naught divided by R. Sigma m naught is 400. R is 141.42. The answer for this is, uh, let me calculate it. So it is 400 divided by uh, 141.42 it is 2.82 meter 2.82 meter ok so x intercept is 4 meter y intercept is 4 meter and d is 2.82 meter for example uh, means uh, if you want to know the position of the resultant force with respect to the point A means 
so this is how see x intercept is 4 meter x intercept is 4 meter y intercept is how much it is also 4 meter actually it is a square but figure given in the form of rectangle so we can join both the points okay both the points like this so this is the position of the resultant force and d d means what perpendicular distance of point a 2.82 meter perpendicular distance of point a from the line of action of the resultant force so this is what the position of the resultant force okay so no need to show this uh, uh, position of the resultant force diagram in the diagram you can just stop to here okay, you can just stop to here so you will get the uh, full marks okay so to this uh, uh, we have solved uh, problem number two on coplanar non-concurrent system of forces thank you